do some blaze damage to detract from the offset, but we follow this little stone wall a ways, and then it should be turning shortly. We're right along the border of Sherburn and Ashland here, and lo and behold, it begins its easy breezy turn. Before long, we'll be at the little railroad yard. First, we come to yet another substantial and rather huge boulder erratic. Biggin. Look at this sucker. <laughs> And the trail indicates a turn around this side of it. We're now deep in the heart of Sherburn. Look at all those striations. Yeesh. All kinds of kid graffiti too. And lo and behold, we're coming upon the railroad zone. But we won't be too far now. Yeah, right beyond this berm, which was probably thrown up when they built the rail line. Voila! Man, this looks relatively recent. The nails even had any time to weather. Look at this. The old GM plant is up this way. And this is a vast, semi-active yard. And the trail runs this way. You can see a blaze across this, like we're probably supposed to cross and run along the opposite side of the rail line. We'll be heading this way further into Sherburn. Circuit blaze across this vast mess of tracks. That's looking towards the north. And I guess we get to skirt the mess a little bit up the side of this thing, but 
It doesn't go on for very far. And this is the way we came. And there's a turn up ahead and it eventually brings you out to Route 126. That's the old Odessa GM plant way up there in the misty distance. Here we are along a wetland straddled by this once mighty road, railroad thing that heads in the general direction of Milford and comes out of Framingham Center running south and there's some power line stuff over there that the trail will follow briefly as well. We're nearly out of here. It'll soon turn to a single track. And a last look back at the growing railroad yard. See, we're already down to just a single track. This is where it all comes together. Out there it blows out to about nine of them. And the single track is now going to run us to a little overhead bridge and the location of the car, which isn't all that far away. And we're close to the bridge where we leave this fine little feature, this old railroad line. There's the drain swales. And there we are, looking back up to that vast and complicated section of rail yard for GM plant. And here you can really see the well-defined drain swales. A little vernacular path along old beams heading off up into the woods and some kind of gas pipe marking. And when we get up to that bridge, that's where we exit this section of tracks. And just before you come to the bridge, as you can see, the old rail line really gets hemmed in by the woods. It's really abandoned here. It goes all the way down to Milford and beyond. We're soon to encounter the bridge where Whitney Street crosses it. We'll be rising up that thing momentarily. And it looks like there's a fair amount of recent and thoughtful trail maintenance. So people out here have been busy at keeping the day circuit open. And lo and behold, here's the Whitney Street Bridge. It's relatively new. This is where we exit to the street. <coughs> Plenty of traffic I see. This is the fun part of the Bay Circuit when you're doing a traverse along these crowded little funny suburban town streets where they're narrow and weird and the people in cars are looking at you like you have three heads for walking around here. It's sort of unheard of. I understand that there was a bridge here one time before that was far scarier. So this is the new one. And our exit will be just over here. You follow the bridge up this way. And you're done. Voila, we emerge. 
the Whitney Street Bridge. The tracks start to get removed right around here. Big old field, bright old sun, and Whitney Street with all its traffic. And this completely menacing, constricted, miserable little stretch of Whitney Street is the Bay Circuit. It's got lots of traffic. Who knows why? You can see the blaze. And now the Bay Circuit will work its way up this utility line for a while with the contradictory mis mysteries of the posted no trespassing sign and a Bay Circuit blaze peeping out from behind it. Stay tuned.